Brad, then I uh, believe we're settled in. All for those unable to attend today, of course, all relevant uh, minutes, materials, and recordings will be available in the company archives for later reference. <laughs> so uh, let's get this underway. Yeah, all right. All right, let's see it. <laughs> Welcome see back, out. everyone. It has been a long and hard-fought three years, but once again, it is time for our company triannual status report. As we kick back on, reflect Woo! on the uh, the promotion and probabilities of our last major business plan, as outlined, the uh, Fidelity Utility and Cultivation Kinetics, Yield Amortization of Neological Kindling, Efficient Embarkation Strategies. So, over the past three years, we have been directed along what, our two primary axes of business. We have targeted, dead set on proving ourselves <laughs> as a strong, forceful, dominant international airline. In order to accomplish this, we must first repay tenfold the results of the uh, Islamic bubble by uh, moving in on our overseas markets in America. We need to leverage and expand our existing network. We're going to be using our full D advantage to just uh, wedge our way in there and make proper contact with the local markets. Show them that we are not to be trifled with. And furthermore, the uh, time has finally arrived for us to push forward and sh firmly place our long-running Far East rival, Con Air, down in the place they belong. That being any below us, we uh, have a long, his stable history of outperforming them in all of our major intersections along our mutual networks. So, we are just going to be looking to close off a few of their remaining safe zones and firmly pierce their uh, their vital points along the network structure. Yeah. Sounds like good. It. Like it. Uh, chairman, Chairman, for what throat. about boats? Situation North America. That's the first I've heard of this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck boats. So. <laughs> Alright. Market observations have revealed that the uh, local network, such as it exists for Air America, consists primarily of transcontinental flights. 100% of their regional operation consists of uh, connections to the West Coast. As such, we have been allowed to rampage unchecked along the Atlantic and throughout the Midwest. We intend to expand upon that by continuing to drive home and provide service to all of the interior cities. However, that alone is not going to be good, enough good. for us to uh, really get the message across to our uh, overseas competitors. So, in order to crown our North American maneuvers, we intend to connect east to west and get our own stake in place on the west shore. Everything east of the Rockies is within range of a standard Doug Jr., so he will be quite capable of carrying on servicing all of those eastern lines. We only falls to fill the remaining gap of a single long-range craft to fill in our uh, west coast connection. Just to hammer home the uh, feasibility of the American market here, the difference in performance as of the beginning of the business plan was a mere 16,000 seats per quarter, the equivalent of under a dozen filled Doug Jr. flights. It's very narrow gap to fill, and uh, on a certain level, America's management uh -huh. policies understand this, and they will, of course, be in a position to react and will escalate in response to our actions in the area. Less, uh, less prominent, but equally important in achieving our full project plans is taking action in Oceania. This is one of the regions where Con Air has been allowed to maintain the number one position for a long span of time, largely unopposed, by focusing their own businesses on Southeast Australia. The remainder of the lines you can see there on the map are all Air American connections that are uh, tenuous at best, uh, representing their uh, typical business strategy of... I'm not sure what they're doing with the money, but uh, somehow their board of directors is able to justify transporting two or three people a day in an exceptionally large aircraft. I'm <laughs> just going to let so, them... Yeah, very rich and eccentric customers. If they, they, they pick their hill, we'll it's let them fly America, over it. Who cares? So, 
overall, this is a mere, <laughs> this is a 14,000 passenger market overall. Again, largely concentrated in Southeast Australia, largely serviced by small numbers of Western-made aircraft. So, we are going to turn back to the strategies that have served us so well in the Middle East and Far East of making use of uh, discount tickets on numerous flights of the IL-14. We're just going to use that to slip in there and be guaranteed to show returns while just imploding demand by undercutting local ticket prices. We will simply... We have a supply of the aircraft in reserve, and we will be able to set them out there to undermine our opponent's markets as necessary until their whole financial structure in the area thoroughly implodes. To further what, support... What is Air America the, running? What kind of planes? Do you want to endure <laughs> being told? Question. Where have you been? For did you Please hold all questions till the end of the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> Were you? I'm the where consultant. Is, where is your dossier? Repeat it. Were you the one that was on disability until last <laughs> week? Someone was supposed to send you the. Damn it! All right, someone will swing for that, but for now, in addition to that, we're of course <laughs> going to reinforce our carrier service by way of further... We're going to run Oceania with a firm iron Soviet bay grip of uh, high-efficiency Ilyushin craft. Moving along, this is, I suppose, Soviet this is probably closer to, uh, to our consultant's primary concerns. Regrettably, in order to shore up the capital for our goals in the fringe theaters, we are going to be scaling back service in Europe. The our, uh, Parisian and Berliner lines have traditionally not shown very wide returns and have been making use of our very limited time in Rome, which could be better served as uh, providing seats for the carryover links, which have maintained historical effectiveness and will be redoubled with the addition of new aircraft. So, good. Paris and Berlin will be shut down, potentially renegotiated in the future, pending the Italians opening. I I swear, I've been there a dozen times. They, they have a runway. They've paved it. They just keep it surrounded in pylons. <laughs> I don't... I don't ask questions about that anymore. I just just let it go. Sounds like you need some aggressive negotiations. <laughs> we may need to get somebody on that to uh, escalate. They are they are our hub. We are their only major provider. We may need to uh, make with the offers they can't refuse, as I believe the parlance is. I'll have my people contact your people. Getting back one out to the question. fringes. Has Brom been fed yet? That is being arranged. Throm been fed. Throm will be sent. So. Back oh. to the Far East market, Fuck where, oats. once again, this is our, uh, one of our traditional strongly competitive fields in the battle against Con Air. They have been unable to hold anything resembling a dominant position in the area for years, and our objective there primarily is just to make sure that they stay down. The Americans have taken great interest in expanding their service out here, which is also routed through Hong Kong as we are, and we're going to let that happen, because allowing them to see gains out here will distract them from our own actions over in their home sector. So, have at it. And of course, Espionage. the uh, expansion of competition of course means that some of our lines are going to see their traditional rates challenged. Where that becomes a problem, we are going to go back to our borderline strategy of deploying Many tiny planes, which has always served us well as a financial backfall. Once again, we are uh, not going to be repeating certain actions which occurred during the 10th anniversary business strategy. <laughs> also, in the process yeah, of clearing up, we yeah, have had a lot of place. idle flight time sitting out in eastern airports unused. We're uh, just going to wrap that up, make sure they don't, you know waste time leaving a light on for us. We'll get back to them when we get back to them when it's, you know, time to turn our eyes eastward again. Back on the home front. Situation normal. All is well. We are. There you go. 
the uh, tourism market normalized, flattened out, and uh, has properly redistributed itself to its uh, natural state, so we will no longer be having any aberrations in in our home market. Uh, Welcome back, boss. How you doing? Uh, damn satellite technology. That's all. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah, it's all it's all gonna work fine. Amazing <laughs> worldwide live broadcast. You know, we, you know, tech guys, we run an airline light. I, we can just bring everybody to the head office. Uh, there is nowhere we operate that yeah, we that don't also serve. Fucking Cisco. Anyways, you were saying situation yeah, Africa. Trying to figure out what the landmark is in the back. Business as usual. Empire State Building, Big Ben. I don't know. It's like a skyscraper, but it has like a big clock on it or something. You had a guy that that handle what? certain <laughs> actions. It just, just let it go, man. It's a rocket. Let's say it's I a don't, rocket. I don't talk to the people who provide these posters. I don't even... I'm not sure if anyone has ever come <laughs> out of that department. We just get the slides. I'm curious. <laughs> so, uh, do we have? If we could probably put some variety. Do we? Uh, brochures. Do we have signal fidelity there? Hello. We should. We have Picture signal back. fidelity ish. Yeah, Same. signal fidelity is all clear. Picture's yeah, back. Continue the show. Refresh my fidelity. Yes. Some of you may need to reconnect. Sure. Huh. They say that they may not. So. Yeah. They say wonder if they knew they lost us. They may. We're still lost. We are never lost. Stand by. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Are, oh. I, he I hear nothing on the street. Situation Africa. Oh no. I'm, uh, I'm seeing. Stand weird. By. I had audio a while ago. Uh, uh, yeah, we're getting, we're getting values. Apparently, our yeah, our ears can can hear us. This is audio now. But yeah, Africa. <laughs> it's not looking too good. <laughs> Yeah. Really business as usual. <laughs> it's satellite connection. Middle East war, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Frankly, I did not Just know until a, I did not give me a number to give it a I, I hadn't heard anything about this until they compiled the report. I mean the, the people at Cairo barely mention it. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently why. it's it's what? the fourth one in this quarter, my god. <laughs> Wasn't that, it wasn't our previous space? Uh, yes, yeah, so let's let's stick to our previous on, uh, thing about On to the numbers. That's we've, forward. we've carried on. <laughs> we've outlined the strategies, and we've been able to see them play out over the last three years. So let's take a look at the numbers. Seventy-two opening phases mm -hmm. of the plan. We are largely stable on the numbers front, transferring start to end of the year. It's all about us getting staged without disrupting our usual business operations, just getting everything realigned in order to prepare to implement our strategies. This is all the precursor. This is everyone getting the stage set. No one suspects a thing. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Leap ahead in a calendar number over to 73. And begin to notice this. benchmarking. Come on, bench perspective. Keep perspective here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh wow, Conair actually got pretty wrecked hard. There yeah, we I begin mean, to see the, the squeeze. 1973. All of the plans we uh. began to implement start to get put into motion, and ripples are sent into the economy. Opposition starts yeah, to get yeah. starts to get jumbled. They start to get undercut by what we're putting out there, and we are in position to continue moving forward, capitalize that, and make our grand push, which unfolds in 74. Mm -hmm. This is where Triumph. everything Ooh, that's, comes that's together. That's like a I like to see. Mm -hmm. This is where we really begin to realize gains on our new operations. Everything is finished, realigning... The, the altar has been swept clean, and the spirits are appeased. Business is back in motion as we begin to uh, move ahead. We start seeing good results moving forward on all of our metrics, and the enemy is put into a position where they really cannot deny that we have had an impact. More than and this That's a heavy impact. Is how it goes. I almost feel sorry for you. Yeah. 
Yes. Nice. Number yes, one. Speeding the Americans at their own. Game. In North America. <laughs> in North America. I Very don't. good. The champagne Amicably. should now be making well, its way around. Oh, I yes. already grabbed some before the meeting. <laughs> you. I had hey, this nobody said that it had to wait. Don't worry. Well, I mean, since I'm We've earned it. In, I can't really get it. <laughs> It should have been sent to you. Maybe it was on the same flight that your dossier on the Oceanians. Someone will swing for that. But let's let's <laughs> yeah, get to the, let's the get same back people to the who disconnected my my you know transmitter. <laughs> yeah, there was some sabotage afoot. There were definitely some the dissenting hands. voices unhappy about our European plan. We'll get back to them. It's all good. There are many years to go. So. Final status review, looking here at the high order numbers, the big trends, and major movements. This is where the impact gets felt. The Americans, long the top runners in the market, riding high and grand on top of the world. Passenger growth completely halts for the duration of our business plan. And their financial returns cut clean in half. Yeah, they got undercut pretty hard. They this, are. This is a blitzkrieg. They are beyond. <laughs> they are beyond. They believe themselves untouchable, and we have thoroughly proven them wrong. The market realities have shown that they are vulnerable. And furthermore, we Good. see highlighted our Good. two decisive Thanks. tipping points where we leveraged ourselves into position and undermined Con Air's operations. First, surpassing them in passengers with our close-cut discount lines in Oceania back at 73, and then as the consequences of that performance shift began to mature, overtaking them in finances the following year, firmly placing us in the number two position of overall airline metrics. Good to hear. Mm. Congratulations, Jack. <laughs> We yes. have come out on top. Excellent. Carrying on to a bit of a denouement here of reviewing our uh, information. We can see cleanly here our ability okay. to rapidly realize growth within the North American region by uh, deployment. America got fucked. Each of those leaps Man, those is just North American one numbers. solid, dependable junior. Mm -hmm. And once we cross that line, the uh, highlighted point there is the opening of our, our uh, you know, our pioneering Pacific route run uh, by just a good old-fashioned Doug really opens up the gates mm -hmm. there and just firmly slams the foot down on American performance. They have uh, long believed... It's like Americans getting their hands in Oceania. And, uh, we're not going to be too into that. Uh, meanwhile, down on the Oceania graph, yes, they have long considered Oceania a strong secondary market, tertiary, really, market of theirs. And uh, we may need to see about putting down their uh, ambitions on that front, but... Cleanly highlighted on the map, e opening even a small competing service in the face of Conair's oceanic routes very firmly undermines their performance until eventually the whole thing just comes tumbling down. Conair mm. could yeah. not have been in a worse position. The uh, raw numbers are of course not good for them, but proportionally they have experienced a massive backslide over this three year period. Cannot be understated mm. how badly we have cut that. Feels good. Meanwhile, That's in other sectors, deserved. excellent. We can uh, see highlighted here yes. our uh, necessary sacrifices in Europe. Ultimately, a very minor setback in order yeah. to yes. bring together the capital needed to achieve those other gains on the previous slide. Certainly, compared uh, to the losses our competitors experienced. That is net. for the interruption, but what? Why is there a break in the line? At Middle East for America. Certain what things to had to been a be big event. settled. The Islamic <laughs> bubble did not what end cleanly. <laughs> the Islamic bubble. Not at all. Did they get kicked out of our country? They got kicked out of the entire Middle East for a bit there. We sent them a message. <laughs> oh, yeah. For a while. There was no data. What the hell of a message? Meanwhile, yeah, we can sure see uh, highlighted the, uh, the CIA for that. We can see highlighted the uh, limitations and long-running complications of the African market. It's uh, kind of a mess. Ended up ultimately rather wise on the business front to just steer clear of the whole affair. Oh yeah, Conair took a huge hit from depending on Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And meanwhile, over there on the big interregional lines, the traditional wisdom of uh, the overall rankings being measured by interregional service has held true. As we can see in the final twilight of our three year business plan, we just eked by Conair's international numbers by about a thousand quarter of the passengers. Turns out rather small on that it's, graph, it's but it's uh, quite large in our hearts. We are, we're all very proud of that over in the international <laughs> department. That's the turning point. That's the point that it's all just smooth sailing from here on out. So, having come here to the end of our yeah, uh, no. second triannual business framework and the 20 year anniversary of the company we have to date, pulled in nearly a billion dollars, thoroughly paying back the startup capital was put, which was put into founding our company back in 55, and currently account mm. for 28% of global air travel. That's pretty good. We are Not hitting bad. above our weight class. Nice work. Mm -hmm. um, for clarity, if for, if for clarity's sake, um, did we didn't cause the war in the Middle East, did we? No uh, further questions. It, um, you, made, you made it sound a little bit Shut like we did. Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> Cut his line. We'll, we'll run you through legal. You'll get properly debriefed. Yeah, well, I'll handle it. Don't worry, guys. Here we stand, 20 years in and 20 years strong. We have gone from just a small backyard over the border operation to a true globe spanning airline. We across two oceans spanning thoroughly five out of five out of seven regions we we really dug in mm -hmm. hey go us hey Ryan. we took ourselves now what's the from... plan for dealing with the americans well that will lie to the future we've uh, come this far in just six years under our current management paradigm we've gone from floundering deep in the near red to uh, skyrocketing upward into the uh, into the upper atmosphere of the air business we are going strong and we'll keep going forward all at the cost of con air <laughs> I above the clouds like the sun in high noon <laughs> absolutely and really, if everyone there's a... chant, chant with me, like the sun and I know everyone. But we'll get, we'll get to the, 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 the after party up. has we're been. We're still in the uh, we'll, we'll, uh, the after <laughs> the champagne's open. We'll start. Chanting. The champagne is open. The after party. Mm. Let's just say that we have set aside a flight to uh, to a Kuala Lumpur. I hear it's good this time. I hear the place is good this time of year. We can uh, we can take up the uh, start you know spitballing you know brainstorming what we're going to do to move ahead once we're once we're out of the out of the office and back in the fields. Mm -hmm. It's no one can really say what the next three years will bring, but uh, I think it's safe to say that we're gonna give them hell. I look forward to seeing all of you and all the results of your efforts again when we come back here to reconvene in 1979. Peace be with you. Good night. Cheers. Sayonara. High noon. Like the sun and high noon. Like the sun and high noon, yes. Like the sun and high noon. Like the sun at high noon.